I love sweaters. Hello friends, the sun is setting on this beautiful September evening and I am wearing one of my favorite sweaters. It's actually my mom's sweater. My mom was styling in the 80s, girl. Yes! And I am ready for fall makeup. Fall makeup is one of my favorite kinds of makeup because it's just so like smoky, earthy, and like I love all those tones. So today I'm going to be doing a really quick and easy fall makeup tutorial. You know how I like to keep things simple, girl, okay? Ain't no, ain't doing no cut creases up in here. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I just washed my face, if you guys couldn't tell. I am also going to put on a glowy primer from VDL. This is my favorite primer right now. I love Korean primers because they actually moisturize your face and don't like suck the life out of it. Let's roll up these uh, 80 sleeves. So I'm just gonna rub this in. Put that over my fake lips. Mmm, yes. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of foundation. I like to keep it light, guys. So I'm taking my NARS All Day Luminous Foundation, like I always do, two pumps. That's it. I like to start underneath the eyes and the nose, because like that's where I need the most coverage. And then I just blend outwards. So quick and easy. Please excuse the band-aid on my finger. Um, it's there because I'm afraid that my nail is gonna fall off and it's gonna hurt really bad. So I'm just securing it with a band-aid until I can get to the nail salon, which won't be for another two days because it's a long weekend and everything's closed. Ugh. Next I'm gonna do my eyebrows, which as usual are a hot mess, which is why I'm wearing bangs. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, so I'm just gonna brush them out really quickly. And this is my Anastasia Brow Wiz. Ooh, you guys know what I like to do. I just outline the very bottom of the brow so it looks cleaner. And then I fill it in and then I just conceal the rest. And I barely fill in my brows because they're like totally grown out. I have a brow appointment at the end of this month. I can make it, guys. We can make it. We can do this. Uh. Honestly, my eyebrows are a freaking nightmare. Like, how did I inherit this? Why does God hate me? All right. That's all we're doing for the brows today. Next up, concealer. Taking my NARS concealer like I always do. I always use the same complexion products pretty much because... I like what I like and it works for me, you know? Why stray? I'm a loyal girl. The sun is literally setting before my eyes. It's so beautiful. So I watch a ton of Korean makeup tutorials and so many of these um, Korean beauty gurus don't use powder after they put on their foundation and I'm like, how? Like, how? Like, I don't understand. Like, if I didn't put on powder to set this, I would look a hot mess. It's just like this area around here, everything just gets into the creases and it's just not cute, girl. So I'm gonna be taking my Laura Mercier powder, okay? I've been trying to use less powder though, like, I've just been using it in this area that I know is gonna crease and like, get gross. And lately I've been so obsessed with this freaking Evian spray. I spray it all the time. I spray my face just for no reason. But right now, we're gonna set everything with our Evian spray. It says you can set your makeup with it on the bottle, but do I believe it? No. <sighs> nice. Okay, so now for the fun part. Um, I'm gonna be taking my Overtake palette. So I'm gonna be taking this color right here as the first base color. This palette has a lot of fallout, so just keep that in mind when you are uh, using it or if you decide to purchase it um, and you don't like fallout. It's definitely a Harry Potter palette like Expelliarmus. Then I'm going to grab this color right here, this like burgundy brown, 
and this is really what's going to um, make the eyes pop. So I'm going to concentrate this. Ooh. So I'm going to concentrate this on the outer corners and then work my way in. This might be one of my favorite colors in the palette just because it's so unique. It's like a purpley brown. I don't really see colors like that. At least not in the palettes I own. I started using my fingers a lot more, I'm noticing, like in my eyeshadows. But I mean, your fingers are like the best tool really for blending. It's a pretty good tool, I say. A pretty good tool, guys. We're also almost at 80,000 subscribers, guys, which I am super excited about. Maybe like two weeks ago, we were at 70,000. So keep up the good work, guys. It's all you. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this bronzy color here on my finger and I'm just going to apply that onto the lid over top. And for mascara, I'm going to use Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. This is their newest mascara. It's actually really good. Uh, don't even, haven't you used it on this channel before? Probably. Um, but it's actually a really good mascara. It's very natural looking, good for like everyday kind of look. Don't you hate when you get mascara on your nose? Damn it. Mascara one, Darcy zero. So I'm gonna be taking um, this color called Rose Beige from 3CE. This is a very light color, so it doesn't show up a lot on my skin tone. Um, but I like that for this look. I'm not looking for something that's gonna be super Pigmented super like blushy. I really like this one for super subtle looks. Then I'm gonna contour um, I'm gonna use the NYX palette and taking the darkest shade always gotta get that jawline girl cuz I got no jawline It's just like it's just like face and the neck. That's it. Ain't no jawline up in here. Okay, so we gotta make one and normally I do my forehead, but I don't really need to today because bangs. For highlighter today, I'm taking Max O Darling, which is such a cute name. And also a very cute highlighter. Just a little sweep, sweep. And then finally, I'm going to do my lips. So I'm going to take my chestnut liner from MAC. Um, and then I'm gonna take Peachy from Anastasia and put that on top. Then I'm gonna grab uh, Near and Dear from 3CE and put that in the middle. And I'm also gonna grab my contour palette again and take a smaller brush and just kind of like detail contour. So lately I've just been doing a little bit on the nose bridge. And I also go back into the eye and contour there, just like into the socket. And right under the lip as well. Adding more shadow here just gives you more of like a pouty look. And that's it guys, super easy, quick, simple. Oh my God, I forgot the Evian spray. <laughs> nice. So that's it guys for this really simple, easy fall tutorial. This is perfect for like back to school, really easy, just a brown eye and a new lip. You'll be looking cute, okay? I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay warm. Peace.